and welcome to another PC Perini tutorial. Um, today I was going to go over uh, something that it, it isn't really quite a, a full piece of software, but um, it's a it's a plugin actually for Adium, which I'm not sure if I've gone over. I do not believe I have, but uh, just a quick little uh, glance at it here. It's got a, a, a very nice layout. This is actually a, 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 a theme for it called uh, iTunes 7. It gives it a leopard style look. Um, it can support uh, MSN, AIM, Google Talk, Skype, Yahoo, uh, IRC, which we will be getting back to, Facebook, and pretty much everything else you can possibly think of. Um, as far as IRC goes, to uh, use IRC, you have to have a custom compiled version, meaning you have to download the source using command line, you have to constantly update the source, you have to go through this, that, and the other thing. And it's and you have to have Xcode, and you have to compile it, and, yeah, and it takes up a lot of space, and it's just annoying. It's just annoying. So, um, I tried hosting it as a simple plugin on uh, Adium's website, adiumx.com. No good. They, they refuse to let it up because they don't feel it's ready, but um, personally, I think that it is not perfect, but it is, it, it is well in along enough. It is functional. There are no glitches. There are features that are missing that would be amazing to have that could be done. Uh, they just aren't yet, but told people over for the time being, people who may not quite know how to go through all the steps to get the code and compile the code, um, I'm, I'm putting it out there. Uh, I'm hoping not to, to, to annoy Adium people far too much. I don't know if this will even reach anyone interested in running IRC through Adium, but if it does, please understand that this is not because I don't trust Ad, uh, Adium's judgment, I, I I don't I do trust their development team. I think they know what they're doing. Um, however, I really do believe that if this was just available to people who wanted it, it would be great. And it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be working. Um, so let's see here. I've actually got the plugin right here, but. Um, figure I could run it. Now, uh, this is just a little side note. This has only been tested on uh, uh, an SVN. I can't think of the uh, SVN meaning the, the compiled code. Uh, I don't know what uh, version. And the 1.3 beta available on Adium's website. Uh, I, have nev I have not tried it on the regular installed 1.2, uh, but it might work. I don't know. I haven't tried it. But uh, let's let's give it a shot here. This is uh, the chat rooms. If you look up here, you can uh, add group chat bookmark if you have a chat room open up. So let's try and uh, join a relatively popular IRC chat group thing through uh, irc.wildride.org. Join Chris. So Chris, it's Chris Perillo's chat, also known as Locker Gnome on YouTube. This is the little acceptance thing. Uh, here we go. And if you look here, I mean, I, I have a, another thing is if you're going to use this, obviously get one that has this here. The name. The name is extremely, extremely important. Um, because if you, if you don't have the name, obviously you're not going to be able to tell what anything is and it's going to get extremely confusing. Um, otherwise, you know, you look over here, you've got different things. The green here means that, uh, this person is on my buddy list. Mandy is a, a friend of mine. Um, a bunch of these other people I know, uh, from, uh, IRC, but they're, they're, you know, they're not buddy list type of people, but you can also add... That's pretty easy. Um, add the address book. Uh, you can also just add contact. That's pretty simple. Um, the blue obviously means I, I don't know who they are, but they're online. Um, and as you can see here, 
it works just like any other sort of chat room. Um, and it's, it's pretty simplistic. Now, one of the features that I was talking about that would be very nice to have uh, would be um, the ability to either have a, a special kind of theme that doesn't have the name for regular chat but does have the names for or the, the usernames here for uh, IRC and other chat rooms or the ability to have two themes one running in regular chat and one running IRC that would also be nice and I, I really do think that there's someone working on that idea right now um, like I said the uh, the Adium development team they're on the ball they just uh, I, I think that if I personally host this and if there's a problem um, if this, just a little disclaimer here, if this re reaches Adium and there is a major problem with me hosting this, uh, tell me, and I will take it down immediately without problem. Um, but I would like to host it and just see if people are interested, you know, do a little control test, if you will. Um, and if, if you're interested in it, uh, the link is going to be in the, the sidebar, the link to download this plugin. You just download and install. Uh, if you're building the code, if, it, if you're running the SVN, is what it's called, um, the trunk, then obviously you're going to have IRC. I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, but if you're running the beta, you're not going to have IRC. Now you can. And if you're running the regular, this might work. I haven't tried it. Um, another thing that uh, is also only for the beta is Facebook. And I may pose, if, if, I, can, I, if I can test it to see if it works with 1.2, Maybe, but that seems a little superfluous because the beta is just as easy to install. Um, so probably not. But regardless, uh, the IRC plugin I think is uh, good and together and working, and uh, I love it. I think it's it's the, the probably the best IRC client I've ever used. Second only to the Pigeon IRC client, but just barely not quite so good um it's 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 functional and that's why it's extremely important to me um so there you have it that's pretty much rc now uh real quick show a group chat bookmark uh to shatters and now i have the chris perillo chat on my chat rooms and uh, I can rename it in here. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Um, let's try that again. There we go. And uh, run it. Yep, there we go. And it puts you right back into Chris Perillo's chat. So uh, there you have it. Um, like I said, the link to the uh, IRC plugin uh, will be available. Uh, it'll be right in the, the, the show information. Um, as far as things like uh, this icon here, um, I've got uh, Pigeon esque is the, uh, the the name of the uh, functional uh, service yeah service uh, icons set for Adium. I will be going over actually Adium's website is going to be a whole other video because their website is just so interactive and amazing. It's like a whole other piece of software on its own. Um, however, my point was. Uh, if you go and you search for uh, Pigeon esque or PC Perini, I've got a, a bunch of uh, extras there. In fact, uh, this is the next version of the Adium uh, Adiumzilla icon that I'm working on here. Uh, it's just I'm, I'm working on a uh, 4.0, which is uh, just a little something I'm working on. I actually. I've talked, or I'm, I'm talking to some people about getting some help on that because I think it's a, re a really good idea. But that's totally beside the point, arbitrary. Um, so uh, this has been Adium. This is what it is. This is the IRC plugin. I think that it deserves a chance to shine in its current state. Um, so leave a question, comment. Uh, if you're Adium and you, you're not liking this, uh, drop an email. Uh, anything. Uh, it's all good. Um, this has been another PC Perini tutorial. Thank you, and whoop.